Hi everyone and welcome to the Nikon D500 V's dead, the Z6 IISO performance. In this video we're going to look at some images taken at 1600, 3200, 6400, 12800, 25600 and 512. We're going to look, they, these here are taken from, the red, the red ones here are taken from the Nikon the Nikon D500 and these green ones over here are taken from the Z6. So basically when I come to compare these two in a minute they are raw files out of the camera and all the settings are identical. So if we just go to the, did we do a 1600? We will compare 1600 but I think we're wasting this time. So if you look we've got the Nikon, I appreciate the camera is the Z6 but it's not, the left hand side will always be images taken from the D500 crop sensor camera. The images on the right will be taken from the full frame. You know, you cannot see that anyway with the Nikkor Z. Um, the settings are identical, shutter speeds are identical. The full frame seems a touch brighter, but we've still used the exact same setting. So we'll zoom in at 1600 and I, I, we'll just have a little look around the camera. And both of the images are absolutely fantastic at 1600 ISO. If I were to pick one, I'd probably say the full frame is slightly better, but it is really negligible that they both look absolutely fantastic. I'll just take the compare key off. We'll now go to 3200, press the compare key. And we'll now go to 3200 on the right. So remember the images from the Nikon D500 are always on the left. We'll zoom in, we'll dim the lights and can I shift up to add the tab so we can get a better view? That's better. Um, so this is now ISO 3200. Even zoomed in to, have I got it on uh, one to one here? Let me just turn the lights back. Shift tab to bring the things back. Yep, so it is uh, 100. Just dim the lights. So even at 100%, I'd say again the Nikon Z6 is slightly better, but again, really, really negligible. They both look absolutely stunning at ISO 3200. We'll just put the lights back on. We'll now go to 6400 and 6400. Settings identical if you have a look, aperture, shutter speed and everything like that. Um, we'll now zoom in again. We'll shift tab. And we'll just have a little look around the image. De definitely, um, if you look here and you look over here on the D500, the Z6 is definitely cleaner. But the D500, I mean, just looking at it like that, looks fantastic. Um, we'll go and have a look at all these in full screen when we're finished, just to show you how good they look. So this is now 12,800. Remember, D500 images on the left not the camera images taken from the d500 looking at them i'll let you just assess that we can now see a bit of noise over here uh, but we'll zoom in and take another look <laughs> i've rendered one-to-one -one previews so there's no loading times they should look great and again the z6 is winning slightly but the d500 even at that is Still, I mean, it's not as good as the Z6 now, but it's still fantastic for a crop frame camera. We'll just shift tab. We'll now go to 25,600. I think this is now, if we just go to shift tab, I mean, even the D500 at that, to be honest, is looking good. There you go. Both nice and tack sharp images. The D500 now is starting to not fall apart, but it's definitely much noisier than the Z6, but I'd say it might be a stop, something like that. But at that there, it, it, they look fantastic. This is zoomed into 100%. We'll now just finish off on the highest ISO of the pair. And now you can see that the Nikon D500 has sort of like bottomed out here. I mean, they both have to be honest, but the Z6 does look considerably better but they both look a bit crap um i'll just shift tab now um take the compare key off and we'll just fly back to the d500 and i'm gonna go i'm just gonna shift tab and we're gonna take a little dim the lights 
and we're now going to take this is 1600 from the d500 and i'm looking at this on an imac 27 inch we've got i'll just turn the lights back on so you can see the settings 3200 6400 i mean when you go from 32 to 64 you see a slight color change also but all the white balance 16 32 and then we got 64 but i mean look at the grain even at 12800 from an apc size sensor and then we've got the highest iso of the pair you can see now that that looks pretty pants we'll just shift tab and we'll now just fly through the z6 and then we'll end the video so we've got 1600 iso 3200 why is that 3200 6400, 12,800, and the Z6 is better, but the Dicon D500 is doing a fantastic job. Anyway, we'll leave that video there. I'll leave it up to you to see what you saw. Um, but thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.